What is up guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today and what I have for you guys is some day two of build guides. This is carry builds today. So we're going to jump into the top five carries. This will go five, four, three, two, one uh, is how we're going to do these. So jumping into carry builds number five, we're going to start with this is Skylar. Carry builds are going to be a little bit homogenous. Uh, these are just fairly similar for a lot of the carries. They just the good when it comes to carries, what matters is like your your damage output, your DPS, and a lot of the time that's going to be pretty similar for uh, a lot of the heroes, right? You're auto attacking a lot, so it yeah, it ends up coming out kind of similar. Anyway, starting with Skyler, I think this is the primary carry right now that you are going resolution on. Uh, Crest, by the way, generally speaking, you're going Liberator. Cleanse is really really good. Uh, if the enemy team is like all knockups or they have very low crowd control, you can go Pacifier. I think Eviscerator is pretty bad. I would never go this crest. Uh, Liber Liberator is pretty much it every game. On Skylar, I think you're going Soul Chalice uh, first item pretty much all the time. And then I think it's Tainted Rounds second. I think this combination, you go uh, Soul Chalice, Tainted Rounds, then you finish Resolution as your second item. I think it's a really potent combination on this character. Uh, tainted rounds pretty underrated by the time you get this first item when you go soul chalice tainted uh, when you get tainted you're still in the laning phase and even if you just get an auto on somebody while they're using a health pot uh, anti-healing their health pots is actually pretty valuable so i think tainted rounds is pretty good on this character it helps with ramping up her beam damage as well and then uh, generally speaking third item on carries you're going demolisher if you're really far ahead you can switch demolisher with whatever your fourth item is uh, on Skylar, I think it's Imperator. I think you're going a full crit build. I think this feels really good. Uh, you can switch out the resolution for Vanquisher as well, and that's fine. And then I think it's just Terminus. This this item is pretty good on a character that doesn't need attack speed. And then for your last item, this is kind of where it gets tossed up for carries. You can go a defense item here. Uh, a lot of the time, it's not terrible to go something like this is primarily Draconum. Uh, if you're going a defense item last, this would be like kind of a Revenant style build. But again, Revenant, a character who doesn't need attack speed. Skylar, another character who doesn't really need attack speed, right? So you get, it kind of looks similar. If you want your full damage build, this last item's probably Dust Devil. Um, Dust Devil is a pretty good item on Skylar. You stack it instantly, you get a lot of move speed. Uh, again, this can be Vanquisher if you want more kills. Vanquisher... On Skylar, it helps you secure kills a lot. It doesn't really increase your damage crazy compared to Resolution. Uh, but it does, again, it does get, let you secure the kills. If that's what you want in ranked, that's pretty valuable. Personally, this is this is the build I would go. Again, if you're really far ahead, you can go Imperator 3rd, and you're fine. And then you go Demo 4th. Uh, if you're ever building Demo 5th, I think you're trolling. It should always be 3rd or 4th. Uh, and yeah, this is this is pretty much what I'd build on Skylar. Again, a carry who doesn't really need attack speed, so you don't have to build into it a crazy amount. Your beam is a crazy ability. You have crazy wave clear. Uh, pretty good character all around. And moving into our number four spot, this is a character some of you probably think is going to be higher up the list. It's Twin Blast. Uh, I think Twin Blast is still very good. Uh, I think that he has fallen a little bit. Mostly, I think a couple of other characters have risen upwards. So uh, that's that's why I've moved him down a little bit personally. Twin Blast, you've got two build options. The first one we're going to go over is the attack speed build. This is kind of like the tank shredding build, but both of these builds are actually pretty good against tanks. So here, one sec. I'll give you guys this side. I hadn't thought about this. I'm kind of covering up some of the items that we're looking at. Uh, I'll give you guys this side. Anyway, uh, resolution, you're going Soul Chalice. Again, on this build, it's generally Liberator. Uh, you're going Soul Chalice into Sky Splitter. Then you finish your resolution, and then you go Demolisher. This is a this is a really potent three item combo on Twin Blast, and it's very good. Highly recommended. Uh, this fourth item generally is still Spectra. If you're going the auto attack Twin Blast build, he procs this item incredibly well, like better than pretty much every other character in the game. Uh, and then you can go Ashbringer fifth, which is actually not terrible right now. I think this item it's been buffed a couple times. I think on this build almost exclusively. I think you can go Ashbringer. Some people are experimenting with this on Kira, and I think it's okay, but I, I don't think it's crazy. And then your last item, even on this build, is Infernum. 
and this is kind of like a hybrid build almost like your first three four items you're hard auto attacking people right you are leaning into just slamming with those autos uh you get to run people down because you have a dash that gets its cooldown lowered every time you hit an auto attack and you have spectro while you're slowing them and all this kind of you know it just kind of combos together uh sky splitter demolisher obviously really good at killing tanks infernum once you get it online also very good at killing tanks uh and this build kind of slams the other build obviously is the kind of cringe blast build that you see uh thrown around quite a bit this is another soul chalice into infernum finish resolution second i would almost resolution is actually a pretty good item fully built uh building it second is pretty good so you resolute you go soul chalice finish Re infernum finish your, your your resolution and then it's probably still demolisher third again if you're ahead you don't have to go demo here but if you're behind or if you're even demo is a very good item uh where the hell is penetration physical pen there we go uh pain weaver got buffed items very good i would go this fourth on this build after that you're probably looking at going into again tb still kind of a hybrid character probably looking to go into sky splitter here then your last item is a throw up you can you can kind of build whatever here you can go ashbringer give yourself more abilities that's a solid item you can go more pen you can go something like death stalker which does give you quite a bit of attack speed on this build as well uh only good against squishy teams not recommended most games uh you can go dread if you need a defensive item you can go draconum which is another good option uh honestly i think ashbringer is probably the best slot on this build this item is not super awesome but again it's it's on, on Twin Blast, who uses the item very well, I think you can get away with it. And I think Pain Weaver buff gives you move speed now um, as a base stat. Pretty good. This build, very good against squishies. Still pretty good against tanks. This character is kind of an all-rounder. Uh, very safe in lane. You don't really have to worry about fighting in lane because you just clear the wave and you walk away. And you're good to go. And he, it makes him very easy to play. It makes him a little bit harder to punish than some of the other carries. So keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, you kind of have two options on Twin Blast. And then moving into our number three. This one is uh -huh. Revenant. Might some, this might surprise some people because Revenant has been a less than stellar character for quite a while now. Uh, however, people are starting to figure out that, hey... This character does a lot of damage and runs down other carries. He's, that, that's pretty cool. Really good against Twin Blast. Really good against Skylar. He destroys both of those char those characters in, in 1v1s. So in your ult, which is a 1v1, you just run them down. Uh, even on Rev right now, I think you're still going Liberator most games. Uh, you can go Pacifier again if they have low crowd control. But for the most part, this is still Liberator even on Revenant. I think Ordis is bait. I think it's good if you're ahead, but you don't know that you're going to get ahead, get ahead by the time you pick your crest. So it's you're, you're kind of coin flipping a little bit. And that can be a little awkward. I still think that carry crest is better on Revenant. Uh, moving into the Rev build, this one is probably the most straightforward because, again, character does not need attack speed. It's just Vanquisher, Imperator, Demolisher. Just a crazy amount of damage. You can go Imperator second, even though you only have 40% crit chance by the time you get this item. You have a guaranteed crit on your fourth shot, so you're really only uh, coin flipping. You're really only trying to crit. You're only on 40% crit chance 75% uh, of the time, right? So it kind of adds up to being like you have a little more crit chance because you already you kind of have 25% crit chance in your base kit because your fourth shot always crits. Anyway, Imperator very good second. Demolisher third. And then you can go Terminus. I really like this item. I think the lifesteal is very, very good. It feels makes this character feel really good. Uh, Equinox, another very solid item. Gets you your 100% crit chance. And then most of the time right now, actually, fifth item on Revenant, or last item on Revenant, excuse me, you're going uh, Draconum. This item's really good. It, it lets you ult somebody, and when you kill them, it heals you. And that heal is really valuable. You're on a full damage build. You have a lot of power. It heals you for 120% of your physical power, plus some of your missing HP. Uh, really good item. Just very, very good on this character. He uses it really well. It gives you even freer 1v1s against enemy carries because now you have a little bit of physical defense. 
uh and it yeah you uh, you already 1v1 all the carries but a little bit of physical defense makes it way easier this is the build i would go just every game i don't think you really switch out items on this character you don't go tainted rounds if you need tainted some that's someone else's job if you're playing revenant right uh this build makes revenant slam uh pretty good character right now again if you get comfortable with running down the enemy carry and you'll be you'll be kind of slamming on rev uh moving into our second spot strongo uh drongo is pretty good i think he has will always be good because he has so much utility in his kit and he is a very annoying character to play against um moving into builds again liberator the vast majority of games same thing you can go pacifier against low low crowd control uh, another primarily crit based character uh vanquisher first very good you see some people going lightning hawk first personally in ranked i would always go vanquisher first having the ability to just steal kills or or secure secure kills on a character in ranked is really good especially a carry because if you're getting kills means that you're getting gold and you getting gold means you do more damage which means the enemy team dies faster and it, it's it's very very good uh second item here i think it's usually tainted rounds this can be lightning hawk um depending on what you're trying to do right now uh there's a lot of characters with healing that are getting played a lot right now so i think tainted rounds is generally speaking pretty valuable like you can go this most games and it's pretty good uh if they have literally zero healing you can go lightning hawk but generally speaking tainted rounds demolisher imperator i think you just go full crit build like you have a good attack speed off of this you're looking to one shot people with rad rounds then this fifth item is the point where you can go sky splitter uh you can go spectra not super recommended i don't think it's crazy on drongo you just you proc it the the normal amount which if you're not cheesing spectra if you're not getting more spectra procs than you should be uh i don't think it's super crazy and then i think it's uh just equinox last this rounds out your crit gives you 100 percent crit good attack speed on this item uh bonus damage like makes you kill tanks faster you can go quiver it's not it's not crazy like this character doesn't uh, again similar to spectra if you don't abuse a nixian quiver so to say if you don't have something that makes it better than what it should be uh it's not a crazy item you can do it but this is this is pretty much what i build you can switch you can go sky splitter fourth if you're having trouble killing tanks you can go sky splitter after your demo and then go imperator fifth uh that's fine Otherwise, if you're ahead or you're not, or if they're not super tanky, they have a bunch of bruisers, you can go Imperator here and then finish this build out and you're looking pretty good. You have a decent amount of, of attack speed, uh, good crit, you destroy squishies, you have your ult, you obviously with Vanquisher, you just secure kills super easily. So yeah, very good build for a pretty good character. And then finally, moving into number one, the process of elimination pretty much leaves the only one option. Murdoch. Murdoch is very good right now, and part of it is because of a new build that is kind of coming around right now. Uh, Murdoch has a passive that makes his uh, auto attack go further, and it gets a bonus armor penetration. And why is that important? Well, when you auto attack people, the cooldown goes down. And why is that important? Uh, well, first of all, sorry. First of all, go cleanse. Cleanse is really good. Why is that important that his auto attacks reduce his his passive cooldown? Well, Lightning Hawk, this gives you extra extra poke in lane. You passive auto somebody and you get bonus damage on it from your Lightning Hawk. Then you're going Quiver second right now. Uh, Quiver, it gives you good survivability, has lifesteal on it, lots of attack speed, um, still gives you crit. Murdoch's passive is reduced when you hit the side shots of Onyxian Quiver. Onyxian Quiver gives you two side shots uh it kind of gives you a little shotgun blast a little mini sparrow ultimate when you hit those side shots it gives you the cooldown reduction on your passive so it's 1.5 seconds per auto which means if you're barrel stuffing somebody hitting them with all three of those of those autos of your two side shots in your main auto uh you get four and a half seconds off of your passive cooldown for each auto attack and it's a pretty low cooldown to begin with so you're getting this like every other auto or every two autos which is really really good and it makes you kill tanks very easily the lifesteal makes you live against tanks very easily very strong item then you're just going into demo imperator uh again just makes you really annoying 
And here is where the build can shift up a little bit. You can go Terminus here. If you're getting Dove or the enemy team is very tanky, if you're playing against like Sev Steel or Sev Richter or something like that, super tanky, uh, Terminus is pretty good. It keeps you alive a lot. Um, very good just survivability tool. Otherwise, this is generally speaking Sky Splitter, uh, similar to Drongo. This, it's just a good item. Then your last item, again, you're looking for your 100% crit chance. It can be tainted rounds. That's fine. It can be, uh, where is it? Equinox is also pretty good on this character. Uh, that That's generally speaking what I'd probably go last is Equinox. The shield is nice, especially when you have lifesteal, right? You have two lifesteal items plus crest on this build. Pretty good. Uh, you can go Terminus last. Again, if they're super tanky, if you have two tanks with Razorback running at you and you go Terminus last, now you have three lifesteal items. They can't kill you. Uh, you're good to go. Otherwise, Equinox pretty good, and Murdoch right now, these two items just make Murdoch slam early game. Uh, I don't know who started this, but it's just, it's it's kind of taken off. It's pretty good. So Murdoch number one on the list right now. Again, this is this is for ranked in, in PCC. It's a little bit different, but for ranked, Murdoch definitely number one. Uh, your ult also, just side note, your ult lets you just secure kills across the map, and that's dumb. Uh, you just get free kills as a carry, which means you get free gold. It's kind of like Drongo, uh, except you have to aim it and yeah it's pretty good right now so that's your your top five carries at the moment and their builds so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below let me know if you guys have questions i will answer them uh but other than that guys that's all i've got for you so as always i've been pinzo this video's done so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one